rescue efforts are focusing on the people down in Houston, but there is a growing, growing crisis involving dogs there. One Toronto group, though, is trying to help Houston sanctuaries deal with the thousands of pets that have had to be left behind by their owners. The last few days have been a nightmare. Um, I woke up this morning hoping that everything we've gone through wasn't real. Natalie Freshour runs the Hot Mess Pooches Rescue and Sanctuary in Houston. She says the city already had a massive stray dog problem with an estimated one million of them on the loose or in pounds, and thousands of them now are facing euthanization as staff try to make room for the pets that had to be abandoned by their owners. Just trying to get to the grocery store today, a dog running around with um, a, a chain attached to its leash where it had broken off of a tether. And the problem has been compounded by the fact that many of the rescue facilities have themselves been flooded out. Over 100, do or 100 dogs, cats and pigs actually had to be rescued via airboat yesterday. Um, the last of the dogs were pulled out uh, this afternoon. Hi. So the call has gone out across North America for help and groups such as Nicole Simone's Redemption Dogs here in Toronto are responding. I did rescue during Hurricane Katrina. I grew up in the United States. I have friends and family that are in Houston and I see an opportunity to help that we have resources here and that we should share those resources. To that end, Simone's group has started a GoFundMe page to help cover the cost of sending at least one truck to Houston along with volunteers next week, hopefully after the waters have receded. How many dogs do you hope to uh, be bringing back? Uh, we're hoping for around a dozen dogs. Um, we're bringing a large uh, temperature controlled van down um, and we're also hoping to bring humanitarian supplies to Houston and then bring dogs back. Both Simone and Fresh Hour understand when people question the need to be rescuing animals while people are still homeless. But Fresh Hour says people understand how important pets are in our lives. Our mayor actually made it mandatory that our largest um, shelter in downtown Houston allow pets because uh, they were having to turn away so many people. Now, if you would like to help, there is a link to Redemption Dogs at our website, citynews.ca.